Hi there! My name is Ominator, or uh, that's actually not my name, but that's just what I go by here on YouTube and on Reddit. And uh, speaking of Reddit, a while ago I posted a video on my YouTube channel uh, where I compared 18 free plugins that you can use to uh, amplify your guitar signal virtually and uh, get a nice metal tone that way. And I posted it on a subreddit called Metal Guitar. Now a couple people over there asked me if I could do a tutorial on how all of that works, how to set it up and how to get the tones, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's get started. The first thing that we need to talk about is what you need out here in the real world, hardware wise. So uh, the first thing on the list is pretty necessary I'd say. I'd recommend you get it a hold of a guitar, that's uh, pretty essential to get a nice guitar tone. Uh, particularly, I would recommend that you get a guitar with a good pickup in it, as that is probably the biggest part in getting a good sound, to, you know, beyond just being a decent player, I suppose. Here we have a Lace Death Bucker 7, that's a great pickup. You can also get pickups from Seymour Duncan, you can get pickups from DiMarzio, uh, bare knuckle pickups, so on and so forth. Lace also makes a number of other pickups beyond the Death Bucker 7 and the regular Death Bucker and so on and so forth that are very nice and sound very good. So get a nice pickup first for your guitar. Second thing you're going to need, a guitar cable. I assume you already have one of these, so let's not go in depth about all of that. Just get a guitar cable, that's, that's all you need. Okay, next thing you need is a computer, uh, and I hope you have one already. If you don't, then I feel a bit sorry for you. Anyway, I assume you have a computer already. It doesn't need to be the most high-end computer in the world, uh, but just just a decent computer. You know, you're not a baby box. That's an inside joke. It's not even a joke. It's just anyway, the next thing you're gonna need is an audio interface. This is not the audio interface that I use, but it's the audio interface I used to use. Uh, this is a USB uh, Tascam US122L uh, USB audio interface. So you have a USB cable goes from uh, from the audio interface to your computer, and then. On the audio interface itself, you have two microphone preamps. Um, you might have only one, you might have four even, depends on what audio interface you buy. I will have some links in the description to some uh, budget-friendly audio interfaces that I recommend. They cost usually 100 to 150 bucks for a decent uh, low-end audio interface. And those usually come with, as I said, two microphone preamps, maybe just one, some line inputs, phone out, and uh, more importantly, in the back, you'll have some line-out inputs, and these go to your speakers, but uh, you might have some desktop speakers with like 3.5 millimeter jack connections and that kind of shit. I suppose you could use some converters and get that to go into, in this case, a phono, or perhaps a uh, split it into two big jack cables, which most interfaces use. Uh, I do recommend getting a separate set of monitors, like uh, these ones right here, uh, because they sound miles better than desktop speakers. But I understand that most of you are probably on a very tight budget, so let's not sco uh, go over that the monitor stuff right now. All right, so let's assume you have it all set up. What do you do? Well, you have your audio interface going to your computer with the USB, uh, so that can take audio into the computer and out of the computer, and then you simply take your guitar, and uh, you connect one end to the guitar, and then the other end just goes into, for instance, this line input right here. Boom. Simple as that. No bullshit. Not fucking around. Get a nice clean signal that way. Make sure you boost the signal with the mic preamp uh, to get uh, a decent signal level. I recommend around minus 18 decibel full scale. Uh, and we'll get into that uh, in a moment when we take a look at the software and all that kind of stuff. Which is exactly what we're going to do now! Okay, so now we're in the software and we're going to do some cool things. I have a clip here that I recorded because uh, with ASIO drivers I can't record and fidget around and, and fucking stuff like that while I do a screen capture that captures both my voice and what's coming out of the speakers. So that's fucking annoying, but yeah, now I have to switch to uh, freaking direct sound. Uh, I can't even do that because I'm recording now, fucking Jesus. Anyway, this is, uh, this is how it sounds right now. Just me fidgeting around. No metronome or any planning or anything like that, just fuck, fucking d d doodling something. Which is okay, you can just do that. Now, before we get started, you need to know, of course, how to do plugins and shit. So here we have... Oh, it's my computer and stuff. Okay, so you go into Reaper, 
if that's what you're using in the program files, the plugins, effects, and you dump all your DLL things here. You know, like uh, fucking TCX50 if you like that one, or you know, fucking you can get the 6505 red, which is nice and all that shit. You know, you dump your um, Le Poo, Le Cap, Le Do stuff, all that jazz, you drop that in there. And then Reaper, uh, when you open up Reaper, it will scan uh, the directory, the VST directory, and be like, oh, I found some new plugins. And then uh, while you're in the, uh, the program, you can just click the effects button here. And uh, I've dumped them all into a folder I made. It's called Virtual Amping. That's pretty nice. Got a bunch of shit here. And I'm going to show you how it all works, right? So what you need, first of all, for a good middle turn, uh, I recommend the TC-808. V2.0, this is a pedal emulation of a Maxon uh, 808, you know, a classic uh, overdrive pedal. We can play this clip here, loop the shit out of it, and then just uh, adjust this stuff it's, it's to boost the signal for that's going to come into the amp, and I'm, you know, you can hear how it sounds. You can go maximum like that, but don't, don't turn up the drive, man. Not for a good amount of tone, just... I turn the tone down a little bit, maybe the volume too. That's good. All right. So now we got a boost, but you're not gonna hear what it really does before we put on all the other things. So pull in the cap too. It's gonna be the next thing. Actually, it's not gonna be the next thing in the signal chain. But if you throw the amp on before this, you're gonna get a lot of really nasty sounds. So don't do that. Uh, once you have pull in the cab, uh, you're gonna click this. And where did it go? There you go. The fucking uh, folder button. You're going to navigate to where you have your impulse responses, and I will have links to download those. Well, links to a channel. A link to a channel. Uh, dude, his name is uh, Axom here on YouTube, who does loads of impulse responses. You can download all of these for free from his channel, which is super nice. So shout out to that guy. I'm going to use that here. we got a periphery uh, impulse response, and then how about a Randall Satan? Yeah, that's, those, those two are pretty much my favorite ones. Then I combine these two. Turn down the periphery one a little bit, maybe. Turn down the master so we don't start clipping all that shit. So these impulse responses, what do they do? Well, basically they emulate uh, what a cabinet does to the sound after it comes out of the amplifier head, yeah? So it kind of applies an EQ curve that gets rid of all the disgusting fizz that we don't want and makes it sound like an actual guitar. So impulse responses are very important for getting a good sound. And the last thing you need, well, actually, let's play this first here. Like, if I take it off. You're not gonna notice a huge difference right now because we don't have it amped, but I'm gonna show you what it does once we put an actual amp on here. So let's, uh, how about the 6505 red? That's a nice one. Uh, so shout out to, uh, Vadim Taranov, I think his name is. Some Russian dude who uh, made this plugin. Great stuff. Okay. Now we come to the philosophy about how to do tones, tones that don't sound like shit. So first things first, don't turn the gain up to 10 or if, 11 if you can do that. Don't, don't do that, man. That's not cool. Keep the gain as low as you can uh, while still getting a, a nice gainy tone, so to speak. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't notice, I also placed the 65, um, <coughs> the 6505 red in between the pedal and uh, the uh, fucking uh, this. That's important. The signal chain, right? Pedal, amp, camp emulation. Okay, now let's play the clip and adjust the settings. Shit, get back up here. All right, I'm trying to uh, fucking can't fucking can't fucking do it. I usually have two monitors, so this is pissing me off now. <laughs> Anyhow, let's play it. Oh yeah, now it's beginning to sound like something, yeah. Turn the gain down to zero, you pretty much lose all volume. I'll show you what 10 sounds like. So if you have ears, you can tell why you shouldn't do that. Let's try it too. Okay, we're gonna get some of that fizziness out. Yeah, let's scoop the mids a little bit. Just keep the low at five. 
Now the post gain, the post gain all comes into play with this meter right here. How much volume do you want to actually have on the damn thing? I recommend you don't boost it up too high, just get it to like approximately this, like minus 10 or something in a mix, that would be nice. I'm just gonna fucking turn it off for now. And uh, you can do a bunch of other things to the guitar tone, you know, you, know, you can fucking EQ the shit out of it if you want to do that. You don't recommend doing too much, but I do usually recommend that you slap on a low pass filter to uh, and I'll show you what this does so let me play it and then play around with the frequency here and see how the fucking the sound just disappears man sounds really neat anyway I usually set this anywhere between 8,000 and 11,000 it depends on the amp uh, your guitar and the tone you're going for and so on and so forth I think this sounds quite nice. Let's high pass it as well. So if this was in the context of a mix, we would now uh, have some more room for the bass. Like, you don't want to high pass it this high, but maybe 110 or so. Again, it depends on your specific guitar and what you're going for and how it sounds in the mix and so on and so forth. So you can't take any of this for just you know, it should always be like this. No, it shouldn't. It depends. It depends. It always fucking depends, man. Uh, but yeah, I don't recommend you do much EQ sculpting afterward because all of that should really happen here to get the best tone possible. And uh, now you have a good result. You got a nice guitar tone, and it was all for free. Isn't that fantastic? I know. Uh, uh. Anyway, before I sign off, I forgot to talk about something that's actually a gain staging. So you see this waveform right here? Yeah, this waveform is actually a little bit too loud. I probably recorded it a bit hot. Uh, let's see here where it's really at if I take the effects off. Yeah, we're peaking at around like minus 10 or so. And at times we get up to like minus 9 or so. I recommend that you stay around minus 18. Um, with, with, the, with these fancy palm mutes and all that, you can go a little over that, that's okay. But you know, if this kind of stuff should stay at like minus 18, yeah. So it's a bit loud in my case, but it's okay. Because I'm not going to use this fucking thing for anything. So let's just fucking delete and get it out of here. Anyway, <laughs> gain staging, how does it work? Well, you just uh, grab the knob on your uh, fucking audio interface and you turn it up while you chug away on the guitar until you're seeing minus 18 here. That's good. Minus 18. We, we can talk all day about why it should be minus 18 and why it shouldn't or what, whatever. Just trust me, it's, 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 it's a good practice. It really is. Anyhow, let's, uh, this is how to do guitar things. My name is Ovenator. And uh, have a good day and play some guitar and have a good time. Signing off.